welcome back to Use Some Life. As we get ready for the holiday season, it's time to get creative with our decor. Okay, I'm gonna take a couple steps <laughs> back right now. What better way to decorate than with pumpkins? Whether you've got a few left over from Halloween or you're picking up fresh ones, Craftworks founder Alexis Geisler is here to transform our pumpkins into festive decor. I notice, Alexis, you have some fake pumpkins, yes, like this one, but you pumpkins. have real ones as well. So this works with both? Yeah, so this is a great way. You can either use up pumpkins that you might have left over from Halloween or just your fall decor. Ours are all rotten. Well, if you carve but them, they are still on just sale like at H-E-B. You but you could still, could still buy them. them. Yeah. You can. You, you don't want to really add it to a de uh, rotten one. Okay. Or sometimes you can <laughs> get, advice. you can may have these faux ones even laying around, and you just want to give them a little facelift. So there you go. It's all about finding things that are simple, easy. This is a very easy and cheap craft that you can do to um, freshen up your I table. I love a facelift. Skin. Okay. Yeah. Where are we starting? All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be decoupaging all three of these in three different ways. Okay. Okay. When we went to commercial break, Tessa said, as what's soon, decoupage? As soon as we went, I'm like, what is decoupage? Someone explain it. Yeah. Someone so Alexis. it's really just the craft of taking scraps of things and applying them to something. And you use a decoupage medium, like a Mod, a Mod Podge, Podge or something like that. It's basically a glue and it's been around forever and you use it to both adhere to the surface and then you also use it on top to protect the surface. Okay. So is glue, is decoupage glue? It's it's a special kind of glue. Okay. Just get some Mod Podge, Tessa, <laughs> and call it a You're day. like speaking French to me right now. I have no idea what's going on. Go to on. Michael's yeah. and you can find it there. Yeah. Okay. There's a whole aisle with it. Sure. Okay, so you're using napkins. This yes. is a clever idea. A lot of times cocktail napkins yes. have very clever designs. They do. So this is a really fun way to decorate and use up some cocktail napkins that you might have. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to peel the back off of that because you really just want the one thin layer. It's like a two-ply napkin. It is a two-ply mm -hmm. napkin. Okay. So you're going to peel off the back. Okay. And then you're going to take the corner of it and you're going to kind of cut a semicircle because this is going to go around the stem of the pumpkin, whether it's a real or a faux pumpkin. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So, and, and just to, to be clear, we're yes. taking the folded corner here. Yes. So you're taking the folded corner and you're cutting it and then you would open that back up. Okay. And drape it over the pumpkin. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> cut it. Nope. No. No. Nope. Don't listen Wrong to me. Again. It's not a bib. <laughs> Wrong you're, again. You're gonna cut it into pieces. So this cocktail napkin we cut into four pieces, but okay. if you had a larger napkin, you could cut it into smaller pieces. Basically, you want to make sure that you can easily apply it to the surface. So you're gonna start by taking some of the glue, and you're just gonna work in sections, mm -hmm. and you're gonna paint that down. Okay. We can share. There we, we go. Share. We're sharing. And how much of the pumpkin are we covering here, Alexis? It's really up to Oops, you. Sorry. With the napkins, I like to cover the entire surface. All right. Oh, okay. So then you work in sections. So once you've got some glue down, you can start applying yeah. your napkin. And then you're just going to keep working. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And then would you uh, apply another layer of the Mod Podge Yeah, so over once top? it's all down and you have it how you want it, then you're going to apply another layer to get it so that the surface is protected. Gotcha. Here. Ah. And if you get there. like a gap like this, you can even just cut it with scissors and then overlap it so that you don't have a lot of giant wrinkles on your pumpkin. Is it okay if you have those wrinkles yeah. though? Yeah. It's really kind of whatever you like. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, Derek. There it doesn't have perfect to be perfect. Perfect is boring. Okay, okay. Derek, you finished that one perfectly. And once this is done, we're going to do a layer of the Mod Podge That's over correct, the top. yes, to protect it. Okay. Yeah. Just a thin layer. Yeah. Okay. I think I got it. Easy peasy. That is easy. And then your finished product over here, clearly, you Much have better. a finished version. <laughs> yes. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's really fun. Okay, that is perfect. Let's let's talk about this next one because are these real flowers? What's so these are dried here? flowers that we're using, and you can get these at a craft store. You can get them online. You can also dry them yourself if you want. You can press them in a book. So wow. with dried flowers, Pretty. you just want to be careful because they are much more delicate than some of the other things you might be adding with decoupage. Okay. So yeah, you'll do the same thing where you're going to add it to your design and where you want it to go. Right here. Obviously. And then you're going to put it down. Oh, yep. that's so beautiful. And even if one comes off, you can just kind of okay. put it right back on. Because the glue will have to it. be perfect. Yeah. So that's just a thin <laughs> layer then of the dig yes. here. I'm just going to spin it around mm -hmm. so our viewers can see. And then this so one, nice. when you're there covering it, so the other one you kind of painted, this one you would just more dab because, okay. again, you want to make sure that you're not really like damaging it and you can get right on top of it and so just kind delicate. of it. Yeah. Alexis, where do you buy the dried flowers? You can get them at a craft, at a craft store. store. You can also get them online. You can get them in a meadow. You can get them in the meadow. And then just put them in a book. <laughs> yes. yes. And press them. But you do need to take about a week to do that because they also have to dry out. 
Okay. Gotcha. Yes. Lovely. Okay. Okay, Gorgeous. moving on to the real pumpkin down here. And then this is a real pumpkin, and a lot of kids are going to be off next week for the holiday break. So this is a really fun way to just, they can find anything they like. They can go in the backyard, gather leaves, really anything you want to add. So we've just added some glitter and some fun uh, paper flowers, and you just do the same process. Okay, Derek. Amazing. Let's have some fun with this real pumpkin. The real pumpkin. I'm, that looks like the I'm, size I'm of a pie it pumpkin. It is over. a pie pumpkin. It is a pie Very pumpkin? Very good, yes. It, and when the family comes together, I, mm -hmm. I do love the idea of having a craft that yes. can keep the kids entertained. Yeah. I mean, a lot of kids, uh, they'll do the craft in like 30 seconds flat. <laughs> it's true. And, then it's, and then it's over with. <laughs> right. But it is a clever idea. And I like what you've done with these plastic pumpkins because yeah. it really does like kick, kick the style up. It does. Much. Yeah, you can really customize it to match whatever colors you have in your decor and things like that. Very nice. Alexis Geisler, uh, Tessa, you are doing a phenomenal job. I am locked in. Are you all this. booked up for the holidays at Craftworks? We are right now booked up for the holidays, but we're starting to book for Valentine's Day and some other things. You're so. booking for Valentine's yeah. Day already. Yeah. Of course you are. Uh, it's great to see you, Alexis Geisler with Craftworks. Please say hi to your mom, Tina. I will. I'm super mad she's not in studio with us today. <laughs> uh, but Tina, we love you. We miss you. We'll Aww. see you soon. We have, by yeah. the way, posted a step-by-step -step instruction guide to help you get started on your seasonal decor. Visit our website, HoustonLife.tv, and please share your creations with us by posting on Click to Pins. You can upload it through the website or through the KPRC2 Plus app.